Well, when you're growing up, the smallest things can quickly become some of the biggest moments in your life. Yeah, in the new movie, Giant Little Ones, a teenager named Frankie grapples with an unexpected encounter with his best friend while managing a strained relationship with his dad, played by Kyle MacLachlan. You know, I have a pretty good idea of what you're going through. I mean, we both had friends turn against us. You two were very close. What's the deal with all those cushions on your couch? I'm sorry? All those cushions on your designer sofa. I mean, how do you even sit on it with that many cushions? It's kind of ridiculous if you ask me. How is it you know so much about my couch when you've refused every invitation to come to my home? Oh, and Kyle joins us now. Welcome back. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you, dear. you this movie had me in had us in tears. It is a, such an emotional ride. Your portrayal of Frankie's dad is heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking when he turns away from you. It's heartbreaking when he turns towards you. And you as the dad, your yeah. character, the way that you just keep coming back. Yeah. And and what do you your do? your parents. Your persistence. <laughs> yes, you're a parent and you just do it with such such grace. Um, does you does your ability to play this role, is it affected by you being an apparent oh, in real life? Question. You think? I think being a dad. You, you mentioned you have two boys. You yeah. Know, it's like when you're a parent, you approach a role like a role like this, completely different. You have the knowledge, you know, going in. Yeah. And it's a per period of time in this particular scene with the young man where, you know, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Parents and kids at that age is just very difficult. Yeah. You know? I'm not quite there yet. My boy's ten. Oh, I, I, I'm afraid <laughs> for that time. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, you're all right. So. Uh, yeah, but your portrayal was so Thank amazing you. Thank yeah you. Very kind and this is such a, a special film for so many reasons and beautifully told um, but particularly the relationship between you and your son especially towards the ending yeah. I mean what do you want people to take away from this particular coming-of-age story uh, you know this is it's about um, connection you know and it's about patience uh, it's about understanding um, and it's you know, you're trying to find just that moment when the two of you can connect on something that you have common ground with. Yeah. And Frankie finally opens up, you know, and I'm kind of gentle in my persistence, but yeah. I don't give up, which yeah. is I think a parent has to do. Yeah. And you're basically there. You're just around and you're trying to be there in case they need you. You know, yeah. it's a very difficult thing to not want to get in there and like tell them what to do they have to find their own way but you have to be present but i love that your character was persistent given the reason why you know the son was resistant right to right the father you yeah know? oh yeah definitely um it's a the without giving it away because i think it's a, it's yeah. a great thing for the audience to discover um it's it's all about that you know it's all about how they come to terms with the situation yeah. that they both find themselves in and find this common ground and yeah. acceptance mm -hmm. yeah. yeah well you're also um, in the new Netflix sh movie High Flying Bird yes. Steven Soderbergh was yeah. all filmed on an iPhone yes. right so yes. look, it's crazy what can you tell us about this I, one I love this movie. what was it's the experience like the experience was 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 remarkable because there's the, none of the apparatus of filmmaking that I'm used to you right. know? cameras and crew and grips there are more people here on soundstage right now than we had filming I mean and look how it looks really, it was too, like my Steven gosh. and it was uh, a little iPhone a little iPhone yeah. there were lenses that he used special lenses that ah, he used okay. and he had a rig so he had his iPhone in kind of a rig so he could sort of control it like this but literally a dolly shot a tracking shot yeah he was sitting in a wheelchair with his iPhone oh my oh, gosh and that was it that was what? our group. oh my <laughs> gosh so it can be done it can yes, be done it can. Um, okay and and you're getting presidential too. You're playing FDR in I a Norwegian yes. series. Yes. What's going on? Tell us about that. Uh, so I'm playing FDR in, a, in something we're working on right now. I'm in a little bit of a hiatus break right now, but I'm filming in Prague. I play FDR, and it's really the story about the Norwegian royal family during World War II and their escape when the Nazis come and take over. But mm. a lot of time is spent in the White House between 38 and 45, and I'm FDR. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, so they have right an Oval there. Office all. Oh my God! <laughs> unbelievable. I walked into it. I was like, "This is." It was a Berendorf Studios. Wow. Yeah, wow. And it looked fantastic. Just quickly, I have to mention Twin Peaks. Um, if still, people are wanting another season. I know that you have oh. said that you would drop everything to do it again, right? I would. Of course, I would. I love the character. And now I can say characters because there were a bunch of them. But, yeah. Um, but no plans. David Lynch. It's all in David's hands. So. Yeah. Well, we'll look forward to seeing Thanks. that if it happens uh, again. Come back and talk about your wine. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yes. Sure. All right, well, you can see Kyle and Giant Little Ones in select theaters tomorrow and everywhere on March 8th. Kyle, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Sarah. Nice to be here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.